guys welcome back to my channel thank you so so much for watching we just got home from running a bunch of errands today so I am kind of wiped <laughs> hence the hat I didn't even have time to bother with the hair today and we just got home from Costco and I thought I would share that with you guys we actually have not been to Costco in a while and so I definitely wanted to go as if we are coming into spring officially and fruits are now becoming a lot easier to find and they're in season and they're delicious with that I actually just signed up for it's called Ubi really cute it's like out of our own backyard is the idea but it's one of those kind of um oh what do they call them but basically where you get like you you kind of pick your fruits and veggies and they put it all in a crate and you either go pick it up or they can even deliver it to your home um i just signed up for that and i'm going to be starting that next week too i love to do that especially through the summer uh spring summer months just because again everything is in season it's all organic and good but in the meantime until that starts up we definitely did go to costco and we definitely got a lot of fruits this time um because again it is warming up and it just sounds really good i did notice though that they really didn't have as many vegetables unless we missed them it was kind of chaotic in there you know how costco can be um but we didn't really notice they had a lot of veggies but they definitely did have the fruits so that's what we focused on we have been actually kind of juicing again um you know not exclusively of that's all we have but we've just been incorporating a lot more juices into our diet again i definitely got a lot of stuff for that in mind so i hope you guys enjoyed this haul i don't feel like it's like we got a ton of stuff but you know how costco is it does not take much it adds up so i still felt it was definitely haul worthy so i hope you guys enjoy real quick if you're watching this real time i may or may not have another video this week like I normally would because a few things have come up but I will try I promise um, but if you guys do enjoy this haul and want to see more hauls like this please do give it a thumbs up I greatly appreciate it and it lets me know that you still want to see these kinds of videos and if you have not already subscribed to this channel I would love it if you did I welcome you and we try to keep it fun here so anyway guys I'm gonna get into this haul and show you everything that I got and I will put the prices with everything and of course everything is vegan friendly I hope you guys enjoy thank you so so much for watching all right so starting right here we did go ahead and pick up a thing of just organic spring mix we do still have a little bit of spinach in the fridge right now but we were pretty much out of other greens so we definitely went ahead and got some of these we also picked up these good farm strawberries if i remember correctly these aren't necessarily organic they did not have any but i want to say these were packaged Nope, San Diego. These are from San Diego. I thought these were actually like local to us, but that must have been a time before. But yeah, so we got these strawberries. They do look really good. They just did not have organic available. That's the other thing too. Where I'm kind of excited to start that box again where I pick up like a whole thing of fruits and veggies that's all fresh and grown local and organic, of course. And it's just cool to know that what that's what you're getting and also just helping out locals. Gotta love that. <laughs> I also got a thing of baby carrots. Uh, these are great snacks. I also did get some hummus over there in the corner. I'll show you in a minute. And that was my thought to have that as a snack together. Got a thing of organic edamame. This is really good and affordable. We like this a lot and we usually don't even cook it up. It's ready to go, like ready to eat as is. And that's what we pretty much do. But you can reheat this if you want it to be warm. We just like it as a snack. It's really good. Got a thing of bananas. We only have a few measly bananas left. <laughs> we might have to get more throughout the week, um, but we'll see. I just wanted to get these because right now I do have a pretty good amount in our freezer that we have frozen and I don't really need to buy um, an excess right now just because our freezer is stocked up because that's usually what I'll do is I'll buy like more than I may need knowing that I can just freeze them um, so they don't go bad but right now we're, we're pretty stocked up so I just got one this time I did go ahead and get a big thing of asparagus and here you get a 2.25 pounds and we thought this would be good we've been kind of on an asparagus kick again lately it's really good right now and then this is something i've been using a lot for juices especially that's basically what we have left right now is just four of these little mandarin cutie oranges these are so good in juices guys uh, especially when you're doing a lot of dark greens bringing that citrus into a juice really helps the flavor it really does I mean I'm not a pro with juicing at all and I just find that juice from oranges 
And from pineapple is like your saving grace when you're new at this because <laughs> it really cuts the flavor of dark green. So got more of those with that in mind. Um, but we can also just eat these as snacks. I also went ahead and got a thing of lemons. I like to have that in juice too, like a little bit of lemon, but also just for my waters and various meals, you can put some lemon juice in it or dressings even. So lemon sometimes like... You don't know what you're gonna do with all of them, but really you can do a lot with lemon. <laughs> so I got those and you get five pounds of lemons in there. I did go ahead and get plums. We were on a kick last year. I remember from Costco of picking up this thing of plums. We love them. They're so good, um, but they are kind of a seasonal thing. So when I saw they had them and they look good, I had to get those again. We like those. And Nate wanted to get a few more pecans. We are basically out right now or almost out. And they're kind of pricey, but really for how many you get, it's not too bad. So this is two pounds here. And it says here approximately eight cups of just raw pecans, which is nice that they don't. A lot of the times they have nuts and different specialties of like mixed nuts, which is great. But a lot of the times too, they add it where it's like, I saw one today too, it looked really good but it was like drizzled with honey on it. And you know, as a vegan, we try to stay away from honey, but beyond that too, even if you're not vegan, sometimes you want just the plain as it is, you know? And as fancy as it can be, it's just sometimes not what we're looking for. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I like that they had just these raw pecans. They also got a thing of pinata apples. This is also another thing we will put in the juice. I do have a few honey crisp apples, which just a little pointer here. I love honey crisp apples as to, just to munch on. They're so good. That's like my favorite thing. But for juicing, where you're not gonna really just eat it plain, get something a little bit cheaper. At least for us, apples right now are super expensive. <laughs> um, at least the Honeycrisp ones are. So for the sake of juicing, I went ahead and got something a little bit, um, you know, less price. <laughs> and they'll still be just fine. So got those. And then I saw that they have this um, artisan romaine. Basically, they're like smaller little heads of romaine lettuce, which I actually thought would be perfect because the ones that I normally get in the same kind of pack, I think you even get that same like five heads of it. It's almost like one head is too much for just myself. Um, but not enough for like both of us together. And there's so many times we do eat separately when I'm, my husband and I. And so um, I just thought this would actually be like a perfect little amount. I don't know. They're really cute. And you know how I am. So <laughs> I got those to try out and they are organic as well. Again, got two things of pineapple for juicing in mind. These do need to sit out a little bit longer. They're not quite ready, but they have really good uh, prices on pineapple too. I think these were $2.99 each. They also have this almond milk, which I really, really do like. It's not my all-time favorite, but I think it's very good. And it's the organic, unsweetened almond non-dairy beverage. They're basically almond milk and uh, vanilla flavored, but still not um, added sugar to it. I had actually put the Almond Breeze original into the cart first because it was on coupon and I'm not that picky with it anymore. <laughs> and I'm like, that'll work, that's fine. But it was actually just the original blend. And I'm even okay with original unsweetened where it doesn't have the vanilla flavor but I don't like original where it's still sweetened because I think to me it's just added calories for added sugar you know what I mean and if I can avoid that I definitely try to so just kind of be mindful of that if you're kind of new to almond milk that you know try not to get the sweetened ones they really aren't like needed the unsweetened ones are delicious especially the vanilla ones um, it gives enough flavor in itself Self. So just a little pointer there that sometimes that's where it can kind of creep up on you before you know it if you're new to this game. <laughs> so always look for unsweetened. Here is the hummus that I picked up. This is where you get 20 individual little cups of it. And I just thought that would be good too. Sometimes hummus is, you know, it's a great healthy snack, especially with vegetables. You can't, it can't go wrong. But with that, it can add up in calories pretty fast. And before you know it, I'm one of those people too that will literally like eat it out of the tub. <laughs> Cause you know, why not? And 
you know, I can eat a lot more than I thought when the serving size is only two tablespoons and I basically eat that in two bites, you know, so <laughs> this will make it a little bit easier for me to, you know, have the actual portion I should have, you know what I'm saying? So it's super convenient too as a to-go snack too. And you know what guys, before I forget, this is actually what also brought us to Costco to begin with is we needed to stock up on toilet paper and paper towels. Uh, so normally Costco is not a place that I really go to too often unless we need this kind of thing or sometimes like laundry detergent too if we want to stock up there if they have it like on sale, um, that kind of thing. But yeah, I just wanted to show that before I forgot. I thought my kiddo would really benefit from these. He's used them up a lot, but we needed to get some more colored pencils and you get a ton in this pack. So I just thought this would be really good for him to use. And if you are new here, we uh, do homeschool our son. So he can definitely use these. And that was cool. You get the little pouch and the sharpener as well. And then I also went ahead and picked up this organic pure coconut water. I believe this was on coupon as well. Now, Coconut water is something I wish I liked plain on its own. And the last time I've tried it on its own, I'm not really a fan. I really don't love it. I wish I did because I know it's really good and hydrating for us. But maybe I'll get there. You know, got to give it another chance. Don't just, you know, try once and determine you hate it from just one time, you know. <laughs> but with that, even still, even if I don't like it by itself, I do love it in smoothies. I really do. Um, I think it just gives it a little something extra without adding too many extra calories. This is literally just um, coconut water too. There's nothing added in it as far as sugars or anything. So this eight grams here is just truly from natural sugars, which is a completely different thing, right? So I wanted to get this again just to have on hand for smoothies. Again, we're supposed to get like 82 degrees later this week, which it's just warming up. This is normally when I hibernate. I'm the opposite. <laughs> where I hate the heat. I hate it so much. <laughs> um, and I really do want to just stay inside and let this heat pass and bring back winter. I'm one of those people actually. But <laughs> with that though, it also does again mean that we get a lot of fruits and stuff that are in season that really do sound great because it is so hot out anyway. <laughs> so I guess that's the one pro in my mind about spring and summer. <laughs> anyway, they also had these on coupon. And so we picked these up because we have like kind of vowed again to not buy sodas. We've been really good about like not buying them at home sometimes we'll get a soda here or there when we're out and about but we don't really buy them um for our own personal stock at home that's kind of been something that we used to do a lot years ago way more than we want to admit and and now we really try hard to limit that so this is kind of what we've come up with is we love pellegrino water or any kind of sparkling water for that matter um, but this one in particular is delicious and here's a little tip for you guys here's a little trick so get a plain sparkling water again my favorite being the pellegrino and then you can find these on amazon or any kind of health food store really this is the root beer stevia sweet drops you guys add a few drops of this to sparkling water and you got yourself root beer not even kidding this stuff is good <laughs> it is like dead on too so that's a good way to to psych yourself out a little bit when you get that soda craving and i think they even make these in like cola flavors as well so might have to do that even but with that they did have these on coupon which was great but these are 24 half liter bottles and we got two cases of them but we realized, we didn't realize it right away, and Nate did it, I don't know, but um, these are not glass bottles like we normally get. These are actually plastic, which kind of is a bummer because we always buy this in glass, but that's probably why these were on coupon, but the glass wasn't. So kind of a mis mistake, but that's okay. We still will, you know, drink them, but we'll just be more mindful of that in the future <laughs> that we didn't realize these were plastic. I also went ahead and just got this huge bag of spinach. They do sell spinach like this as well, like in this little uh, container. 
but I went ahead and just got this one here because it is just so much. It's two and a half pounds of spinach and again for uh, juices. I thought that would be perfect. Now again, we're not super hardcore where we juice like kale and all that because you don't really see kale here. <laughs> Maybe one day, but right now we are totally good with just spinach. <laughs> when we do a good amount, we really do. So that is everything. I just want to thank you guys again. I didn't mention it in the intro of this video, but I was literally running to the post office this morning too before Costco to mail off more of your guys' orders. I will put pictures here. If you are new here, these are new items that I am selling in my store and I really, really appreciate your guys' support. It's awesome and I love making them for you guys. So that's what I did this morning. So it was a good day. It was a good day. I loved going and knowing that they're in the mailbox for you guys. <laughs> so anyway i will put the total here for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this haul and again if i don't have another video this week i will definitely have lots of food stuff to share with you guys on my next vlog which will be on sunday so there will be some good stuff coming for sure <laughs> so anyway guys i hope you have a great great day thank you so so much for watching and i will see you guys very very soon mm -hmm.